Next is Ken Lindgren and his presentation, Wickedly Wild World of Wood. A 71-year love affair with trees in five minutes. No, no problem. Needless to say, my workstation as a five-year-old did not involve a USB port or a power cord. I played with wood, evolved into wood turning, where a piece of wood is spun on a machine and you actually carve the wood while it's spinning. Uh, I harvest wood from fallen trees because of the size of the pieces that I make. You don't find the appropriate sized wood at Home Depot. <laughs> so my art form actually starts with a chainsaw. One starts very simply, uh, small pieces, simple shapes, and you very quickly run out of family and friends to give you a work to. So you have to find a different vehicle to get rid of your inventory, make a little money, and support the addiction that you have to whatever your art form may be. Uh, in 2008, when the economy tanked, despite my artwork getting bigger, I had to find alternate means to support my habit, and that involved teaching, sharing the art form with other people. Uh, in 2015, I got to go to a remote part of Africa on safari, bringing wooden tops as gifts to the kids. Teachers and students had never seen one. My bigger work, bowls, may start with a 75 pound log. Uh, a wooden or a plastic pen may start with a small stick, just a few ounces. As you try to get out of the box in your artistic endeavor, I started to go to shapes that weren't round. I started to add color in techniques that you just put on paper. Wood is actually cellulose, the origin of paper. This particular piece has been bleached because the lighter color would accent the grain pattern and the bark inclusions that are in the work. This piece is a combination of dye and bleach. I like to have the original grain pattern of the wood show through to remind the piece that it was once part of a tree. Uh, you can combine multiple colors to get a different effect. Again, I, I prefer dye because the grain pattern shows through the wood <laughs> Branching out to try to find uh, more unusual pieces of wood and when you get into something like this you can't be afraid of showing a different side of yourself. <laughs> Some people say that was my best side. <laughs> great art generally invo involves great stories. In distressed wood you can either tell the truth in terms of a story or create your own, whichever is more interesting. Uh, this is a piece of worm, termite, ant-eaten wood that you can carve, despite the wood being considerably fragile. It's more air than wood. Sometimes your wood canvas is buried underground in the, in the form of root balls. Uh, to make larger work and command a higher price for my work, I began to combine different pieces of wood to make them larger and create a story too. Uh, one of my signature 
techniques is to mix coffee grounds, glue, and paint, uh, apply it to forms, and I can wind up with either a stone or coral-like surface. And I believe that any artist at some time in their career is going to be touched by a spiritual moment that they have to express. Thank you.